prove by first principle that if y is equal to x squared, then dy by dx or y dash or f dash x is equal to 2x. Now these all mean one and the same thing. The simplest form is if y is equal to x squared, the gradient at any point can be given by this function 2x. So let me first give you what what is the principle by first principle, sorry, what's the first principle. So let me draw a graph. So this is your y-axis and so this is the x-axis. So let me draw a curve, something like this. Okay, now suppose I want to find, now this is, we don't know what is uh, the equation of this function. So let us say generalize this is f of x. This is uh, y is equal to something or f of x is equal to something. And say we want to find what's the gradient at this point. When I say what's the gradient at this point, I mean what's the gradient of the tangent at this point. So if I draw a tangent, basically we want to find the tangent of this line. So when I say gradient, it means what is the tan, what is the equation, or not what's the equation, what's the gradient of this line, gradient or rate of change, rate of change. Now rate of change or gradient, you should be knowing is uh, chain rise over run, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This is the basic formula for gradient. Okay, so if that's the formula for gradient, can I say m, which is gradient, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. x2 minus x1. So, to understand this concept, so let me put this away. And let me draw a, ta a, a tangent, not a tangent, a line passing through this point. And let me find one more point. Okay, so I think this is enough. So this is an idea we need to, this is a very simple and a very cunning idea. Suppose this point, say, is, uh, this point is, say, x and the y coordinate is y. So this point is x comma y or let me call x comma f of x. This point is f comma f of x. So this y is instead of writing y I can say this is f of x. I can say y is equal to f of x. So this f of x when you see f of x basically it is not it's a value of y for a given value of x. So whenever you have a value of x, each value of x will have a particular value of y. So you can say that is y or f of x. So the coordinate of this point is x comma f of x and let's call this point x comma f of x plus h. x plus h. So this coordinate is uh, no, so this is not x. I would call this as x plus h comma f of x. So this point is x plus h. So this point somewhere here is, so this is your y1 and I can call this your y2. y2 is f of x plus h. So let me get back to my x1. So what is this? This is x1 and this is x2. So we, I'm going to use the same formula. So instead of saying m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus a, x1, I can say now m, which is a gradient, is f of your y2 is f of x plus h minus f of x divided by 
your x2, the x2 is x plus h, x plus h minus x. So what will happen, this x and x gets cancelled. So you can say, well, m is f of x plus h, x plus h minus f of x over x. This is something even uh, students knowing very little about calculus can understand. Okay, so this is nothing. This is a gradient function. Okay, now I'm coming to calculus. Now what would happen when, what would happen, so let me write it here, when h is approaching zero. This is a very subtle and a very important idea you need to understand in calculus. What we're saying is, what would happen when h, which is a number, is becoming smaller and smaller? So when h is becoming smaller and smaller, what will happen? This point is basically going to come closer and closer to this point. In other words, x2 is going to become almost equal to x1. Though they are different, suppose this point will come closer and closer to this point, and this line will pop out of this, will pop out to be a line, and it will become a tangent. So this is the most subtle and the most difficult concept to understand. Though it is very simple, it's very subtle. Okay, so I'll repeat it again. When h approaches zero, basically what will happen, these two points, suppose if this is a p, let's call this point p and call this q. When h is approaching zero, q will approach p. q will approach Q will approach P and line PQ, let us say line PQ, this is a line PQ, becomes the tangent at P. This is a subtle idea, tangent at P. So let me repeat the same thing again. So what I'm saying is, suppose, let me highlight this, let me bring this, this is a line PQ. This is line PQ. When h is approaching zero, that means the difference uh, between P and Q is reducing, will become less and less. What will happen? This line, which is passing through two point, will become the line which is passing through only P, or this line will pop out of the curve. From a line, it becomes a tangent. And that's the idea of uh, that's how you find the gradient at, sorry, that, that's how you find the gradient of a line passing through a point on a curve. Okay, so this means, so we can say this implies when h approaches, when h approaches zero, this m is a gradient, that same thing is written as dy by dx. That's the gradient. This is change in y and this is change in x. Or this is same, in some books they write this as y dash or they can also write this as f dash x is equal to the same formula which is f of x plus h, f of x plus h minus f of x over h. And here we write the limit for the limit when h approaches 0. This is a, so this is the base, this is called the first principle. So gradient f dash x is the limit when h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So let's use this to prove Okay, so now, so your f of x, let's say f of x is given to be x squared. Your y is equal to f of x is x squared. So f of x plus h 
f of x plus h would become x plus h x plus h squared okay so now what will happen so let's apply just the formula so we can say f dash x according to first principle is the limit is the limit when h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h okay so let's substitute what is f of x plus h f of x plus h is h x plus h the whole squared minus x squared over h i'm not going to write uh, mathematically you have to write this limit every step but i'll not write it in the last step i'll repeat the step so this becomes uh, so using x plus h the whole squared using algebra this will become x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared over h I'm just expanding this so this is this and this gets cancelled this is 2xh divided by h plus h squared over h. I'm distributing the h to both the numerators. And now I'm going to write the limit. Now this is the most subtle or the most cunning part of mathematics. Where, now you're going to say this is equal to, so this will get 2h, 2x plus h when h is approaching 0. So now what are we saying? So this x, h and h gets cancelled, so you're left with 2x plus h. So now when h is approaching 0, this is going to be 0. This is, these are actually two contradictory things that you're going to say together. So here we are saying h is approaching 0. It is not 0, but it's approaching 0 from both sides. So when h is approaching 0, this is practically 0. So if h is 0, or approaching 0, we can say, well, that is 2x. So, you can say, this implies, if, if y is equal to f of x is equal to x squared, then you can say f dash x, or you can also say, this is y dash or dy by dx. Now, students get confused in these notations. But basically, it is a very simple idea. dy by dy is an infinitesimally small change in y, and dx is an infinitesimally small change in x. So, basically, what does this, this whole thing means? What? If you have a function y is equal to x squared, which is a very basic function, and you know a point, say this point is this point is a three comma three comma nine. So the gradient at this point is two times x. So this is your x and this is your y. So well you can say at this point when x is three your gradient or derivative that is dy by dx is equal to 2 times x, which is 9. Sorry, 2 times 2 times 3 is 6. So at this point, if you draw a tangent, let me draw a tangent, which is neater than this. If you draw a tangent, if you draw a tangent, the gradient of that tangent is going to be 6. At this point, at this point, the tangent of this line the gradient of this tangent is 6. That's what dy by dx is. So let me show this on a graphic calculator. Okay, you can. I can't show this on a graphic calculator because I've got a smaller screen. So you can do this on a graphic calculator by entering, going to table menu. Okay.